get silly with a bow. This is gonna get really creepy, I think. One thing you gotta do Why? Why do you think it's gonna be? Okay, maybe you're right. Welcome to Hazard Brothers Cartoon Theater, everybody! I'm Alec, this is my brother Lucas, and we are here for more Cuphead, everybody's favorite classic cartoon revival, if you can call it that. Can we call it that? I like calling it a classic cartoon revival because we are, like, emulating the Max Flesher era and kind of bringing it into the modern. But it's also kind of an oxymoron for something to be a classic cartoon revival. Like, can you qualify... Cuphead is a classic cartoon, no. when in actuality, it's a modern cartoon. I'd say it's a modern cartoon with heavily inspired by classic stuff. We're getting so many techniques that there's no way they could have done back then. Like, all the awesome claymation stuff that's, like, super polished and looks really nice. I think I like that they're playing with that stuff just because it looks so cool, even if it diverts away from the believability of it being from the 30s. Still really awesome to me. Yeah, yeah and I mean, I think that there's more to it than just, like, the animation, you know? Because there's, like, the, the film grain, the, the way that certain characters talk and behave, and, like, design and stuff like that, too, that all play into that. The last episode was great. It was the longest one so far, and we're excited to see what else the show has to offer, so make sure to like and subscribe. Look, I know it's the whole speech, but if you're somebody who hates hearing the like and subscribes, you haven't hit for that reason, I kind of relate to that. So you're our people and you should extra subscribe. Wait a minute. Are you saying you don't personally like hearing people say subscribe? So, so, as so a, therefore, as a... I relate to you and you should subscribe to our channel. That's yeah. not bad logic, honestly, I take it. I tell, as I'll, a... I'll go subscribe Look. after this. This has been great, uh, but I think Cuphead's gonna be even better, so let's yeah. give it so a go. So bye everyone, we're gonna go watch Cuphead. Uh, thanks for watching, Hester Bros. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do it. Oh, it's called Another Brother. There's four. Oh! oh Netflix, boom. Are we gonna- I'm phasing out the Netflix logo. What another if, Brother. We're brothers. What if we told people that we had another brother? Come with me like the bo the like the bonus Jonas. The bonus the bonus Is there a fourth Jonas brother? Yes, dude. He's hosting in a great show right now called Claim to Fame on ABC. Dude, dude I didn't Jonas. even know the Jonas brothers were making music until I heard it at a wedding recently, and I was yeah. like, oh, this is kinda good. Yeah, I think it's Frankie Jonas, and by the way, he's a great host. How's this Jonas Brothers conversation for uh, the Cuphead yeah, show? Yeah, Seems like a great creative choice on our part. I think um, everyone, everyone likes the Jonas Brothers. SOS. Yeah. Uh, we don't have another brother. But we could. No, we couldn't. <laughs> another brother! Here we are! Another, another brother. Okay. I'm hearing baby music. I don't like where this is going. It could just be an ominous thing. We'll see. Oh yes, we will! All thanks to my <laughs> Because of course a cartoon has a jetpack. It's a rocket, not a jetpack. Same difference. It's true, it is a rocket. Is this thing same? <laughs> yeah. Same difference! Definitely not the same! No. Nope. I think the difference is the strap to yourself safely part. Hey, what's the big idea? It was for your That was funny. Well that's just great. So is it now is it gone? Make it to the movie. I guess so. Oh, well, excuse me for caring about you staying in one That was a pretty piece. nice thing to do. Piece. It was. A piece of work. <gasps> oh, no, it's still You're there, isn't it? You're always finding something to whine about. Yes, sir. Officer Mugman of the Fun Police. I feel like this is like, have we gotten this before? Or does it just feel like we should have gotten this plotline already before? Was this like that a prison one a little bit? They don't feud that often, weirdly. I, I, the first season, it felt like they were just partners the whole time. We're getting it more this season. Okay, I'll go find another brother. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, so we're... Uh, it's a trope. We know it's a trope, but maybe they'll play it well. <laughs> Alec knows my response. I'm just like, ah, I'm gonna go find another brother. Lucas identified a sitcom trope and is now displeased. <laughs> As long as I don't see a baby. The frogs are back! <laughs> and, uh, that's actually hysterical. 
The mafia is just hey. on a. Hey man, Peace even on. criminals in the mafia gotta have a good time. Yeah, everybody should have more fun. It's the brother side character for the episode, is who it is. Oh. Uh. Okay, this is great. Okay, kind of funny. Looks like Humpty Dumpty. Nice. Wait, that was you? I had no idea you were such a loose cannon. What? That's my favorite kind of cannon. Oh no. Wanna get silly with a ball. This is gonna get really Come creepy, I think. One thing you gotta do Why? Why do you think it's gonna be? Always gotta be tricked to be sleep. Okay, maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a little. <laughs> Dude, this guy knows how to have a good time. You almost killed me. You are irresponsible, careless, and simply unhinged. It's simply unhinged. Be my new brother. Oh dear, this is a disaster waiting to happen. Oh what? No. No, this is a great idea. You know, and everybody should find different kinds of friends. Don't just don't just bug one person and be mad that they're not perfect for you. Hang out with other people. It's a good lesson. We haven't gotten the lesson yet, I would say, but we'll see. It takes a community to raise a person. Well, I'm sure they're not going that route, but... Also, though, reckless friends that put your life in danger are maybe not a great call. We just... Euthanized Unless that's what you're into. Wait. Yeah, euthanized? Shoot. What if you're that... that friend? Then you need oh, friends like Oh, Cuphead Hot Sauce! I have it! It's true! Wow, branding. We're gonna get messed up at Chili Gems. Thanks to you. Bugsy, I can't thank you enough for what you said earlier. I already found a new brother! Okay. Hey, hey why do we keep the gunpowder? Between the flour and the sugar, where it's always been. Thanks, Pat! Between the flour? That was a funny line. That's funny. So your new brother a pirate or something? Like a pirate, but better! Well, so long, Is he like a pirate? Man. No. I mean, maybe uh, like spiritually in his well, head. The, the pirate from the last episode would be a better brother than this maniac who he's found himself with. <gasps> hey man, it takes all kinds of people. Special delivery for you this time. Ooh! <laughs> No, thank you. Here's your mail. Oh, oh rejected. I need to deliver the mail. What you need is a new brother. Just listen to how good this sounds. <laughs> Mugman, mailman. Mailman, mugman. Mugman, mailman. Mailman, mugman. Mugman, oh, boy. mailman. Mailman, mugman. All right. Mugman, yep, mugman, yep. I'd be walking mugman, away here, too. Mugman. The mailman's a pencil. Mugman, mailman. Yeah. Mailman, mugman. <laughs> He would have been an odd choice for the brother for the rest of the episode. It would have thrown up. That would have been an odd somehow. choice. Yeah. It would be funny if he went to the auditions. <laughs> He's just like, I was just working. I still wanted to. Oh. You know what? That character gives me Blackjack vibes a little. Oh! Uh, this is such a weird episode. How does Mugman know this character? Um, I didn't prepare a monologue or a song. Doesn't matter. We're brothers now. Please be gentle. Mugman, you just chose, like the first one. You chose the most literal fragile creature that was in that entire line. I mean, they're all fragile creatures. That one's made of glass. At least this is ceramic. It's yeah, a little right. bit more sturdy, I think. Right? Well, well, well. Actually, I don't know the hardness of ceramic versus glass. Hey, good point. Oh. One other person wouldn't do it, therefore we should. Nice, He's just an eccentric billionaire! We got the answer. <laughs> this cottage is a death drop. <laughs> Why did you want to be his friend? Why were you in line? <laughs> yeah, dude. Bold face of the fun police. 
Oh no, Mugman had an experience where someone was lamer than him and he's realizing. I hate this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Cuphead's with someone crazier than him, so he. <laughs> At least this is actually bad. <laughs> I love this okay. character. <laughs> this guy's ma this is this is taking the episode for me. Back to my real brother. I'm not getting shattered with you. But I thought we were Oh no, Oh, is he gonna <laughs> this character have a serious villain arc? And then I love they get to like... with the uh, oh. <laughs> I love the skin. Wait. Oh, <gasps> oh, that was the. I heard that before they showed it. Wow, the glass shatter. Is this like a death? Is that his eyes were that open? Is that yeah. Is this a cuphead kill count? Uh oh. Oh no, it's gonna be slapstick and they're all dead now. Or they're all going to be morphed into each other because they've been rebuilt as ceramics. I'm sorry. Guess not. I wish I never just suggested a thought. we find new brothers. Yeah, Twilight Zoney ending. I'm glad it Hey, uh, our medical staff just like repieces yeah, random people you together. You're more than just my brother. <laughs> Good plot you're idea. My best yeah. I'd hug you if my spine wasn't shattered. Same here, Muggsy. Hello, boys. It's your doctor. Hmm. Oh boy. Wait, how did you heal so fast? Right? What is <laughs> What the heck? That's it? <laughs> okay. Okay. What Wild cliffhanger. That wasn't even a cliffhanger. That was. It sure no, was. That is not gonna get resolved, dude. That that was the end of the episode. I'd bet Ooh. you a million dollars. Would you like to place a wager? Okay, I don't actually have a million dollars to bet, but uh, we'll, no. we'll do something. Yeah, all right. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? When Let's we do, do our live stream on Twitch uh, okay. of tasting the hot sauce, you have to double dab if you are wrong. If I'm wrong, I have to double dab on every wing that we do. That's Wait, on sure every like, wing? On every we, single one? Should, should there, how about, how about just the last one? We'll just double, because there's always a dab That'll on the last one. That'll probably the one there is, the last yeah, dab. Yeah, so we'll just double the but last that, one. That's like tradition. Yeah, well, now, well, there's always now a tradition where we're gonna make a silly bet and double down on the last one. All right, done. We're innovating. Uh, I believe that they are going to continue this plot in the next episode. I, I don't. I also think this is a villain arc for Bull Boy a little bit. He, seriously, he's obsessed with this idea of becoming Cuphead. It feels like that can't just end here. It might be where, okay, now he's angry and he hates Cuphead and it's like this creepy thing. Maybe he makes a deal with a devil or something. I, I know this is like speculating wild fan theories. But was Bull Boy even in the game? Was he just like an NPC that you spoke to at some point? Cause I don't remember that guy at all. All I know is that he may be the best side character that we've seen. Keep an eye out for the hot, hot, Cuphead hot sauce. Stream. It'll be yeah. appropriately titled. You'll know when it's coming. As long as you're subscribed to the channel. It's kind of obviously. Okay. That's actually true too. Let's get into the next one. I can't wait to find out if uh, we've got more Bull Boy here. I mean, the title is Sweet Temptation. Hmm. All right. So really... I mean, unless it's getting even weirder. Okay. Netflix logo. Something that occurred to me. Maybe we should also settle. Does it need to be resolved in this episode, or is it as long as it gets continued in a future episode? This episode. Yeah, I think that's, that's fair, because thinking. that's the direct cliffhanger from one to the next. All right. Oh, boy. All right, now seeing the description and the title, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm super confident. I, I, I felt the tone. I'm like, nah, that was a slapsticky ending. I mean, the bull, bull guy literally shattered. Like, he should have been so much more dead than them. Though I will say, the creepy part, like, the... <laughs> They had a syringe! 
He's like, I'm just gonna drug you, dude. Ha <laughs> ha! Cuphead! I think the jokes in this one have been a lot crazier, the series in general. And I've loved that. Like, yeah. we, got a, we, got, we got an electrocution joke. We got a... This, this, they're towing the line with the jokes in this, and I'm really loving it. They're taking more risks, which happens a lot when a series gets a second season. Because th by that time, you know, they've already made episodes. I love this one. Candyland. Oh, Candy Island from Flatjack. Oh, Speaking yeah. of flapjack, yeah. last time, second flapjack. Uh oh. In my defense, I thought you'd think it was funny. I think you're leaning toward winning the bet. Ouch! After all this trauma, I think I deserve a little treat. Ha! Ooh, a treat? Yeah. Oh, a treat no! For me. Now turn around and don't look. A treat? Oh, they're getting a treat. That sounds unrelated to being drugged by a doctor. Come on, Cuphead! Don't play me like this. I've See, that kind of looks like Bull Boy, a little. Not eat your candy for that long. It's called self-control. Never heard of it. It's for people who don't give in to every temptation. You want to try it sometime. Whoa. Someone just doesn't like candy as much. Hmm. See, I don't have self-control, but I'd never eat all my candy before, like, you know the end of the next month just because there was it's a lot of candy I, I just didn't want that much you know yeah i really I ain't doing that though mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. there's a weird like asmr thing happening where he's just like really slowly cutting that chocolate softly and it bothered me just a bit i love this are we is this almost gonna be a halloweenish episode i mean we've got halloween candy I hope so. Huh? Yeah, I say as many creepy episodes as they can go for, they should. Um, I'll make it up to you. I'll do anything. Oh. Anything. Anything. Poor addicts, dude. Whoa, whoa, what? You already kicked him out of his house? Yo, you whoa. gotta at least let him steal your stash twice. <laughs> Give him a second shot. Oh, he's going to the candy place from the game. So Ooh. And it's gonna like Hansel and Gretel him and it's gonna be bad, but he's gonna wanna eat all the candy, but something bad. Oh, this is cool. Serious Candy Island vibes. Flapjack fans be heard. Oh, this music. I like this. It's so eerie. <laughs> Didn't you hear the song? It's Sugar Land. Didn't you hear the song? Okay, if you found this bon bon and today is your lucky day, you get to eat all the sweet treats you uh, desire. Dude, this is super flapjacky. You're right. And goodbye. Uh, uh, Where are you going? And, and you the, the way the world is being built here with the claymation again. Yeah. Same. Sweet. Oh. I've read the fairy tales. I eat your candy. I end up in an oven. Oh yeah, I said Hansel and Gretel. This is funny. You're funny. And he knows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a baroness. Disgusting children. Just can't resist. <laughs> you got a real creepy way about you, lady. <laughs> I don't get out much. In fact, I can't <gasps> leave Sugarland on account of an ancient curse. Oh. Okay, we love curses. This is not the same as season one. This is not the same show. It's so elevated. It's so elevated. Two rules. Rule number one. Tell no one about Sugarland. And we're getting more landscapes. All the candy you desire, just not my candy castle. I feel like all the side characters in this season have been like way stronger than the side characters in season one. Why would I want to eat castle? Dude, I would literally just eat that cup. There's so much stuff there. I could just take a handful. Are you kidding me? You you would not just have the red flag immediately and be like, no, I'm not gonna touch that castle. Oh no, I wouldn't eat the castle. I would just eat like oh, literally anything else. Ah, I love that they're leaning so much into creepiness. Last episode and this one. Yeah, lots of classic nice. cartoons and creepiness. Yeah, look, he did self control. Love it. The temptation was strong, but I... Ooh. You're still upset, huh? 
Hmm. Of course I'm still upset. And well. will be until you replace what you stole. I told you there was a place where everything's made of candy. Would you want to go there? Of course I'd want to. Wait, who's the Baroness? Hopefully we'll avoid her. She's a little creepy. <laughs> but we won't be avoiding her okay. candy. Okay. I like that at least he knows. Expect me to believe that there's a whole world made of candy. And yeah, he cut, actually cut. went home, which I think is a good creative choice. Yeah. He, oh, now Mugman, we're spinning it. He's going to be the one who has trouble. Oh, it's it's the classic, we didn't let our kids do stuff, so now that they can, they're going to be super unhinged. <laughs> yeah. I, I understand why this would be appealing to lots of people, especially kids. <laughs> I don't like candy that much. What, what's your favorite candy, everyone? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> what's your candy, Alec? Twix, but I also don't like it that much, weirdly. I know I'm a weirdo, too. You didn't start with that? Now you both broke a rule. Naughty, naughty. Oh. She doesn't seem so creepy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah, 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 I see it now. I, I'm loving this so much more than season one. Not that I didn't like season one, but this is just so cool. Man, look at the flat background, too. Yes! Oh, you're gonna be a gummy bear. Ooh, that's adorable. I know. I love the gingerbread design. Oh my god, I really like the gingerbread design. Oh my god. Oh, it's that just was like the game. That was Dude, this pretty was a hard level. Legitimately scary. And yes, this was tough. I remember. Man, I want to see them with the finger guns. I said it in the last episode we did too, or not the last. You know what I mean. Yes, the candy. I will corn. say, I do like candy corn. I do. I all. I. I'm a Halloween person. I will eat candy corn. I love this sequence. This is really amazing, honestly. All the animation changes. It's so colorful and creative. Yeah, the, I've long even said. The design. I, I've long said I want more scenes where we're getting lots of movement and music and things like that. We're getting so much of that this episode. No, he's two dimensional. I mean, I guess he's still three dimensional, but. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Dude, honestly, they might just get eaten. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like episode over, like the last one. Yeah! Alright, they died! <laughs> I want to know more about her curse. <laughs> yeah, actually, kind of me too. Wait a second. How are they we're so not... walking distance to all of these things? I'm so jealous. Except we're still candy. Eh, I ain't too worried about it. Now that the Baroness is gone, we don't have to worry about being eaten. No more. Just a teensy weensy. Elder Kettle! No! We just got a super weird ending with no resolution twice, which is interesting to me. And then their grandfather ate them. And then in the last one, they were maybe going to get, like, stabbed with a syringe by an unhinged bull boy. And I'm always gonna be tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> I know I already lost the bet. I know that we did not go straight from the last episode into this one. The cliffhanger did not deliver. But now we have another villain who's like, oh, I'm gonna get my revenge later or something. Do you think we're setting it up where there's just gonna be a bunch of villains that just come after them at the end and it's all part of like one big culmination of baddies? Is that? that that's kind of a cool idea. Like the angry mob after Chalice in a way. Obviously this is not the game plot line. The game plot line was collect souls for the devil. We've seen no devil of which Lucas is tragically disappointed. Okay. 
Yeah, it's weird that we haven't seen the devil yet in the season. Yeah, and I mean, that's still a plot line, I'm pretty sure. And I saw like a little budding friendship between the devil and Cuphead, and I want, I want to see that play out, you know? I think that Chalice has been written in a way that she could just be like a one-off character at this point. You know what no, I mean? No, I, I don't think so. I think we're for sure getting more Chalice. I mean, yeah. I get more of her, but her plotline resolved. She's a ghost. I guess we don't know much more about that's, that. That's what I was going to say. We don't know about the ghostly thing. I think that's an important side plot. And maybe there's a little bit of the friendship between her and them. But I see your point where I guess that part could easily just be done and we wouldn't miss it. The thing that I appreciate about how this has been structured and written is that they can take plot choices, but they don't have to. They can create a character with an interesting plot line and never bring them up again. And they've set it up in a way that I wouldn't be surprised surprised if they did it and therefore I wouldn't really be disappointed you know what I mean I actually yeah that is really interesting for a show like this because it is the classic cartoon formula sort of there's enough ambiguity there where because it's a classic cartoon you're like oh well sometimes these endings just happen and that's it but if we yeah. want to pick it up and we get renewed <laughs> we yeah. can well, and it's good for world building too because now we have all of these different characters and places within the Cuphead's canon that we can develop if we want to. You know, we have the plot line with the mermaid creature. We have the plot line with Chalice and Elder Petal and the, obviously the main characters, the devil. We have all the villains that we've met in this season so far so i mean there's a lot to play with feeling like the world building has improved significantly i mean so much yeah, has improved definitely all the things in season one that were like we would have liked to see more of this we are getting those moments all the time now so i hope that continues as we go through the series further well let's let's hop into the next one at some point well obviously we're gonna stagger how these are created but at some point the next one's just gonna be right there and, and we could be like all right hey let's Let's just hop on over to the next one. Alec will be sitting there already and you could just click. Let's just hop on over to the next one, huh? But hey, yeah, off we go. Woo.